All right, welcome back to the shop. Today is going to be sort of a, a montage of, of assorted things. The I've got a lot of work to do, and I've been just so busy lately. I don't mean to make excuses or anything, but uh, uh, but some of the stuff I've been working on really isn't conducive to to videoing. So so it's not that I'm not doing work. It's just that you know it's not stuff that's that's really relevant to the channel. Um, I do a little bit of a welding. I'm not a very good welder, and I don't want to get ripped in the comments, so I'm just going to leave most of that out. Maybe I'll put a picture in when I'm when I'm done with the project. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> what I'm going to do today is I have the, a set of fence pliers. They're really rusty. They're completely seized. They uh, they don't ugh, ugh, just absolutely seized up. So so those are going to get a wire wheel. A sand blast or media blast wire wheel, um, some penetrating oil, and then some shellac probably. So hopefully that that frees those up. But before I do that, I'm going to cut in some video of me installing some new gloves in the sand blaster. Oh, they don't those look comfortable. Anyway, these are the 24 inch sandblasting gloves, You've got an 8 inch diameter that is not fun working in the sandblaster because you know it's sort of it's similar to, I don't know, it's working inside of a box. Um, so that's not fun but I'm going to have just a short little clip of me working in there. Um, there's some lighting that I'd like to do in there but you know just for one project at a time so I'm going to work on that. Um, I also have, I wanted to give you an update on some other stuff that I have coming up. Um, I've been wanting to show you my workbench, and I really haven't gotten around to it because I have this thing. This was my grandfather's fan. It's a Hunter fan. I think I have an early video where I rebuilt the choke coil, the three-speed choke coil. But the problem with it, in addition to the choke coil just being completely, completely chowdered out, you know, I'll save that for another video, was that there's a what, what's called a Perkins four-position snap switch. And I haven't been able to find one, but I found something that's close. So I have this, which is a relatively expensive switch. Uh, I have the original one. Uh, it's it's in on my on my my in my office because it's got little pieces to it, and I don't want it out here in the shop so it doesn't get messed up. But anyway, I bought this. This might be a, a suitable proxy for this. This fan works. I can plug it in and run it right now, but I don't have the the the, the three speeds on it. And that's why I built the choke coil. So I, I don't want to just shortcut the project and get it working again without... I, I want to get it as close to original as possible. But anyway, um, now that I have this piece, and it's been a couple years since I've uh, gotten into this, but uh, this will be an upcoming video. So I'm excited to have that. And, and the reason I can move this around so freely is because it's hanging from a 500 pound uh, handicap accessibility crane that's bolted to the bench. My brother came up with this at a... Uh, flea market or whatever. It is just the handiest tool, but anyway, I've had this this 100 plus pound, uh, I've got a scale, I'll weigh it, but what feels like a 100 pound ceiling fan hanging from the crane for over a year now, so anyway, I'm, I'm excited to get this thing working and, and off the workbench, um, so that's that's coming up, but today, sandblasting gloves, then the pliers, and, uh, and that's it, so let's get started. All right, now whatever size that is, you can't see that, whatever size this is, is a pain in the ass and it's gonna get changed. All right, let's go change these. All right, so the problem putting these, these rings on the sandblaster gloves is that these the nuts invariably get caught up with with all sorts of slag and rust particulate and whatnot and then these are some cheap ass i don't know what they are they're horrible bolts they're they're bent up once they get kinked then the threads of course are effectively locked on there so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to pull from my automotive bin and get these clamps these like radiator retainer clips and, I, and these these will sort of serve two functions. One is I'll be able to put a, a bolt on there with an actual head that's a little bit stouter and is less inclined to get bent. 
Uh, these are just typical old uh, quarter 20 bolts. And then two, you've seen me lament about how I feel about vice grips. <laughs> this is the perfect application for vice grips because you need two hands in there because you can't. Anyway, uh, it, it's too hard. So anyway, this will allow me to to insert this onto here and it will hold itself no matter what and I could just come over here with the other side and run the screw together. That's my thinking right now. We'll see how that works out. Now the offset there is too much. But I can fix that. All right, let's see how that works. All right, I'm real happy with that. Let's go do the other one. Alright, so that concludes the, the fence tool, the crescent plant fence tool. Again, this is just a, a video of me getting stuff done between the, the, the gloves for the Media Blaster and then talking about upcoming projects. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Sorry for the sort of spastic montage of, of work that I've been doing, but, you know, whatever. I'm still trying to figure things out. But anyway, got some work done today. Thanks for watching.